In practice, I spend an average of 10 hours minimum a day in front of a computer screen that translates to over 3,000 hours a year spent on a screen. For those who are married, not even your babe gets this much attention. Also means, if you have the wrong PC, you have the most time of your year spent painfully waiting for an image to load on the screen. Wait, this video is not a top 10 list of best laptops available on the market. Those change all the time. This is more of a checklist, principles, guidelines intended to equip you with the wisdom of choosing the best hardware for you. If you happen to be or intend to join the world of architecture and design. Hello everyone, if you're new here, welcome to Nalatech Studio. And now I give you a cheat code to getting your choice right. All the time! Yes! Cheat code. System requirements. Most software you use as an architect have websites, and on these websites, you will find a dedicated page that displays their hardware recommendations or system requirements to comfortably run their software. This is the first step to getting the right laptop or PC for your use case. In the video description down below, I will leave links to some of the popular software in the architecture industry and links to their system requirements. They are divided into two categories. Category 1, 2D drafting and 3D modeling software, which includes links to system requirements for AutoCAD, Revit, Archicad, SketchUp, and 3D's Max. Category 2, 3D rendering software, which includes links to system requirements for Lumion, V-Ray, Twinmotion, Inkscape, and D5 Renderer. Note that, Unless you deal with basic 2D line work and basic 3D representation, I would recommend you check out the system requirements in the 3D rendering software category. For example, in my case, I use Archicad for modeling and Twin Motion for rendering. Oh, by the way, NalatechStudio.com has all the tutorials you need to get started. So I was saying that I would check out Twin Motion system requirements over Archicad. This is because rendering software are usually very system intensive and determine which PC gives you the best performance. That will take care of all your drafting and modeling needs as well. All right, the step above is easy, but I totally understand that architects are not necessarily tech savvy and may not understand the recommendations you find on the websites I'm sending you to. So let's break things down really simply in their order of importance. Graphics card or GPU, first, GPU, the GPU is like the eyes of your laptop or PC, and it affects how well your laptop or PC can see and create your models and images. This is the first and most important criteria for choosing a PC or laptop for architecture work, simply because we deal in images and renderings all the time, and is the main reason you want to buy a PC in the first place. If you get this criteria right, the rest will be kind of taken care of. You will start to notice what I mean when you search for PCs later in the video. So, you want a laptop with a dedicated GPU, I mean one which has specialized eyes and brain for images and moving pictures, rather than an integrated one which shares with the CPU. Currently, some of the best GPUs for architecture are the NVIDIA GeForce RTX, NVIDIA Quadro, and AMD Radeon Pro. Second, CPU. The CPU is the brain of your laptop, and it determines how fast you can do multiple things at the same time. You want a laptop with a smart and quick CPU with a high clock speed, measured in gigahertz, at least 2 point something gigahertz speed or more, and a high number of cores, at least 4. Currently, some of the smartest and quickest CPUs for architecture are the Intel Core i7, i9, AMD Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9, and Intel Xeon. Third, RAM. The RAM is the short-term memory of your laptop, and it affects how smoothly your Laptop can remember and work with large and complex information. You want a laptop with a lot of RAM, at least 16 GB, and preferably 32 GB or more. Fortunately, RAM is usually expandable, so you can have 8 GB in your laptop and you add an 8 GB chip to make it 16 GB RAM total. Fourth, SSD or HDD. The SSD or HDD is the long-term memory of your laptop, and it affects how quickly your laptop can recall and store your information. You want a laptop with an SSD, solid state drive, that stores information magnetically, which is faster and more reliable than an HDD hard disk drive that has moving parts. Due to budget, you can find one that has both, since solid state drives tend to be expensive. Solid state drive will be for local disk C, so that installed applications run fast, then hard disk drive for long-term storage, where speed is not a priority. You want a laptop with enough storage space for your information, Models and image files tend to be space-intensive, at least 512 GB or more. A terabyte is preferable. 
Fifth, we talk screen. The screen is the display of your laptop, like a window through which you can clearly and comfortably view your work. You want a laptop with a big and clear screen, at least 15 inches or more. Not many laptops if you want to do professional work. Also a high resolution, at least 1920 by 1080 pixels or more. 4K with 144Hz refresh rate is ideal, because what you want is a laptop with a display that has good color accuracy, contrast, and brightness. Sample laptops, best deals. All right, so using the above criteria, I am heading over to Amazon and pulling out budget PCs at a price point of less than $1,000. So if you want the best limited running deal for high performance laptops, this is how you find them. Type the graphics card first. Instead of typing something generic like best laptop, currently the top graphics cards that will probably fit our budget is the NVIDIA RTX series from 20s and 30,000s. Obviously the first options you will see are sponsored. But look at this, it is within budget of less than $1,000. And the RTX is 4050, arguably the best deal you will find. Well, probably because they have a Black Friday offer running. If we scroll and click See More, you can see all specifications in all their glory. Screen size 17 inches, check. Color black, probably I should mention as well that aesthetics matter as well. And I happen to like my PC in color black, so check. One terabyte hard disk drive, check. AMD Ryzen 7. Remember you need Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 or Intel i7 or i9, so check. Windows 11 Home OS, why not, check. Backlit keyboard, yeah, I like to type in the dark, so check. Graphics card is dedicated, we talked about this earlier, and that is what you want. Really, this is how you do it. Searching by graphics card first will take their faster to a high-end performance machine and you filter in terms of budget. I will leave links to this in the video description for you to grab if it is still available. In case you have any further questions, you can let me know. I will be happy to chat with you. Have a lovely week of high performance ahead. Cheers.